okay fox so in this video i would be you know explaining you the very common error which you will be facing while accessing the virtual box when you try to connect any third party tool like let's say it could be putty it could be uh venus cp it could be a mobile xterm whatever if you are trying to connect uh what is the issue it happens let me just show you one second um any linux server these uh, rules are applicable so if i will go to a new terminal and if i will write if config okay so it will give me some sort of ip addresses which i will be copying okay and when you come to your terminal uh, and command prompt and when you try to uh, ping those ip addresses let's say this so you will see you are able to ping the ip address means uh, there is no issue with the firewall also means uh, from virtual box connection is coming to your windows server means your windows machine right means from guest it's coming to host now let us check from host if it is going to guest or not so if you write ip config second ip config so you see uh, this is the ip address of your windows machine so if i will copy this copy this and if i will come and try to ping this ip address here see i am able to ping that so most of the time you will come across a situation where both the ip addresses are pingable means you are able to ping your host to guest and guest to host but still when you try to you know use venus cp or putty anything that time you are facing this issue uh, uh, network related issue you know connection time out you know means you are not able to connect at that time you try so many things like uh, for example your virtual box is running you are trying to you know uh, change the network adapters you know like network adapters means this you will <coughs> create a new network adapter and change it you try so many things but you know like different people try different methods based on you know google results but i will tell you what is the exact problem there is a host machine just understand there is a host machine and there is a guest machine okay this is your host okay which is your window 10 and this is your guest which is your linux so if both are able to you know ping to each other means there is no issue from firewall side means you know you some people also try to uh, disable firewall ip tables but still this issue is there actually this issue is not no more related with firewall or anything else if there is a issue with firewall you will not able to ping the ip to the host okay so you will easily understand this is you know not a firewall issue because firewall issue is there firewall is blocking the connection you will not able to ping the ip address here itself but in our case we are able to ping in both the you know uh, guest to host and host to guest then where is the issue right so this time the issue is if this is not a firewall obviously you can give it a try sometime firewalls also you know create this issues but that time also you will not able to ping host to guest and guest to host if firewall is the issue disable the firewall and you will able to you know go through this or add an exception in the firewall what is the issue then then the issue is with ssh this is the case you will see uh, there are two use cases either uh, 99% in your guest or in your virtual machine or in your linux let's say uh, you install on linux in your uh, virtual box in in your guest right so linux didn't had you know it is not installed sss servers are not installed in the linux that is the issue second case could be sss servers are installed but they are either stopped or you know they are not enabled so if you install issue will be solved in your linux if it is already installed but it is in you know disabled state so you have to make it enable and you know start and running phase then you will try to connect you it will the you know issue will be resolved so let me what happened okay so let me show you uh, my blog immediately so it will help you out how to fix it so i had in, uh, written one blog here okay how to uh, install ssh some theories are there that you can go through no problem and uh, see if your uh, you know like host to guest and guest to host if you are able to ping you can also check it via telnet if your telnet definitely if this is a issue with a uh, uh, sss side then telnet will not work means host to guest and guest to host you know this uh, ip ping will work but telnet will not work 
the telnet command will not work but uh, by default in your windows machine telnet will not be active so you can follow this step and activate your telnet then run a command telnet and follow by your host machine you know virtual box ip address followed by port number 22 if it is able to connect and you know forward like i will show you in my case see 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 my telnet is working right but it was not working earlier okay so it was not working early one second yeah so it was not working early right so that's why you know i was not able to connect so you know uh, if your telnet is working means ssh issue is resolved okay means how to know this issue is with not the firewall with the ssh telnet so when you run telnet command okay when you run telnet command okay here like that here you can see the telnet command will actually connect okay if telnet is not connecting means definitely issue with is ssh on what could be the issue either it's not installed in your virtual box means that linux server or it is not in up and running phase okay so how to install okay so there are definitely you have to uh, stop all the firewalls before that <coughs> and uh, if it is a ubuntu you can you know uh, update sometime you know window even you update your ubuntu these uh, servers you know open ss server will automatically install but if it is even after doing this it's not working then explicitly install open ssh and then you start the ss service enable it and you can check the status like i will show you in my case let me clear the screen okay so i had already installed it so in this step i will not able to show you but i can show you the status so i can go here and show you the status so here you see active and running so you make sure it's active and running if it is not showing active and running then definitely there is a problem sometime it will show active and dead then you have to you know start the services okay so in order to start the services and all you need these commands okay sometime issue is uh, uh, one more issue i am talking about uh, you did all the steps but still it is not connecting okay it could be the reason you know the installation sometime is not proper if the installation is not proper <coughs> you can give it a try like you know you can again like you can restart the service and check still not working after following the step last step is you you know remove your open ssh server and again install and take a reboot of your machine then chances are very high I means so far i had seen this is the last phase if i go through this definitely you will see your open ssh will start working okay and uh, uh, these are the open ssh you know how to use in other linux like oracle linux and all like i had mentioned so when you follow you know when you install this open ssh okay server and when you make it enable you know running mode okay so there is no issues in the connection then it will automatically start connecting okay there will be no issue like for example i will show more by extern okay so earlier it was not connecting okay so i just enabled it um so i will go to the sessions and i will click on ssh and here i will paste the ip one second Okay, so this is the issue, guys. Always remember. Okay, so whatever is the IP, just take a copy of. So don't go and uh, try to fix something, uh, you know, which is not a correct place. Only SSH is the issue. Try to work on SSH, and definitely you will, uh, you know, able to uh, fix your issues, no doubt. So here I'm just going to paste it and specify uh, user. Let's say KT port is a user. you see i'm getting this except earlier it was not getting it was you know like connection time out like blah 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 kind of error messages i was getting okay so you see i am in the uh, you know see i am in the uh, linux server i'm using right so that's what i wanted to say you okay if there is a issue go ahead and check your ssh definitely this issue is with the ssh only okay so i hope it helped you also you can go through my blog okay idemlearning.in this is uh, you can go and here you see uh, i just posted it today so these are the steps you can simply follow just copy paste it from here okay i keep posting multiple things here so you can you know use this blogs for your you know bookmark and definitely you will get lot of help okay that's all thank you so much